Hi, this is Nikki, and part two of today's message is I'm going to read letters number 34 from the Divine Love Letter book. So these are all channeled messages between people's twins that I've done for people and twin flames all over the world. And uh, the first message of today was about the awakening. And uh, the song that came through was um, I Just Can't Let You Go by James Morrison. And the album was The Awakening. And um, so when I was led to, to look at Letters 34, you'll see how crazy synchronistic it is because there is a huge uh, awakening. And I feel that the, the, your twins and are becoming much more... Um, aware of the kind of mystical connection between you both and it may not know that they know they know in words how to describe that but they certainly know that there is this crazy um, kind of like uh, yeah mystical ethereal kind of amazing connection and they're waking up more and more to that at the moment and so um, letter 34 when I was led to that um, just kind of says it all as usual I mean it's just quite amazing so this is channeled letters from people's twins so that everything you feel inside of you is true everything that you feel I'm going through is true we feel each other like a mirror is between our bodies sending the waves of emotion fear and doubt that suddenly hit us as if from nowhere and then the feeling of complete love, contentedness, inner peace and a warm feeling in our hearts that emanates out through every part of me and awakens our souls. Trust that we are doing this together. Please do not have any doubts. Please know that love is the way that we will succeed in our journey and will win the race. We have our future together which is built on the strongest foundations of creation. Being created together, finding each other again, and finding what true love and the power of love can do. Okay, so this morning, in the, this morning's other message, I pulled that it was the Six of Cups card, which is about finding love again, reuniting. And it was also about the awakening. And so this message here, which is saying, um, feel that, feel the love emanate through our hearts and go through every part of me and awaken our souls <laughs> so again just a really lovely little confirmation oh look and that opened at 34 okay so letter 34 i want you to remain in your heart focus on our love focus on keeping in line with your spirit which is calmness peace serenity, the purest divine love and light. That is what you must do to help us back together. Imagine throwing a stone into a pond that is completely still and see the ripple effect it has throughout the pond, all the way to the edge. Every part of the water is affected by the stone. Now, imagine throwing a stone into a rocky and stormy and wavy sea. The impact of the stone cannot be seen, nor felt by the water. Our energy together is the water. Keep us calm and I can feel you, every bit of you. Oh, okay, so really powerful because, you know, the, the water is all about your emotions. And so when your emotions are stormy and rocky, um, it's so true, you can't see the effect of the stone being thrown in the water. But when it's calm, then that ripple effect is felt everywhere. So it is about being master of your energy and trusting um, and believing that basically you're doing an energetic journey together. And so the more that you can be in line with your spirit, the more that you can be in line with your soul, the more calm, peaceful, serene you become. And it is about mastering your serenity. So... Letter 34 from book three. There's so much that I want to say and so much I want to say sorry for. Sorry that I didn't realise all of this before. Realise what I was giving up on and that I was giving up on me. 
or running away from me. I realise that now, but I just couldn't explain what was happening. I didn't understand it, and I certainly didn't know it was all about you. All I did know, it was very strange, intense and overwhelming feeling when I was with you. And I knew that I'd never experienced it before or would ever again. But it was all so new to me. I guess I'd never let my feelings get the better of me before. And now that's all I can seem to focus on. My feelings for you. Okay. So this is so much about that, you know, so ties into that message around the awakening that came through in the song this morning. Um, but also it is, I'm sorry that I didn't realise all of this before. I thought I was running away from me and I couldn't explain all these feelings that you were, being, that you were bringing up in me. Um, but now I realise that that's all that I can focus on is you. So again, I mean, just so ties in with the message around the song, I Can't Ever Let You Go, The Six of Cups, um, the awakening, the awakening to what these relationships are, whether they know it in, you know, twin flame terminology, but they certainly may, they certainly feel it in their hearts and also know that there's this kind of like mystical, magical connection with you, which defies logic and also... Um, which is a pull at their heart that is so powerful that basically there is no stopping the power of love. When that starts set in motion, then that's it. There is only one way to go, and that is to follow your heart. All right, I hope that helps. If you want to have a channeled letter, it's only $10. Um, if you want to have healings and read it, or um, healing where I, I tap into your energies and I see things, like a film, I give you a write-up of what I see, any messages, any songs that come through for you. And if you want a reading, then I do it with uh, energy cards um, and tarot to see what the energies are between you. So I do what's in your head, heart wanting, what's in their head, head, heart wanting, and then the energies between you and the sort of overall guidance from the universe. So... If you would like that, then all details are in the link. And in the meantime, just remember, just like that second letter, amazing guidance, actually. These books um, are just such an incredible way of getting support and guidance from your twin to say what you need to do. Um, and that second letter is about, you know, imagine throwing a stone into the water when it's really choppy and then imagine throwing it when it's really still. And the water is your emotions together. So it is about keeping, you, you, you know, being the serene queen, being the master of your energy, being the master of your emotions. Of course, emotions do come up to the surface, but it's about how we, we, look at, we can look at them objectively and say, OK, I understand why that's happening. I can let it go. OK, so it's not about that you never... You know, of course, we get we're human beings, we are here to have an emotional experience. But emotions, the whole point of it is that they are in motion, we let them flow through us, we don't store onto them, we let them flow through. And it's when you become the master of letting your emotions flow um, that's when you can really be like that serene, the serene queen, basically. All right, I hope that helps. If you need any help, then please do let me know. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. All right, take care. Bye.